Hi guys, I'm Tia Ward and I'm going to show you how to create this perfect evening look that really does last all night. So the first product you need to have in your kit if you want your makeup to last all night is a primer. I'm using this one by Makeup Forever today. Just a small amount, you're going to smooth everywhere that you're going to put your foundation really. And it just really anchors the product into your skin. Post primer, I'm going straight in with my foundation and a beauty blender. This is a wet sponge and it really helps to keep your foundation looking really, really airbrushed. So this is an evening look, so I'm going to go a little bit heavier with my concealer. And I'm using this drugstore one today, it's a L'Oreal True Match in a really nice warm colour. I don't really like to do the whole super, super bright under eye concealer look. I just like it to match with the rest of my skin. And again, I'm taking the Beauty Blender and pressing that all in. So we've concealed and we've put our foundation on and we don't want this to all just slide off. Hopefully the primer's done enough to keep that in place, but you can never go wrong with a little bit of powder. Now, what this does is serves to help further press your foundation into your skin and ensure that it doesn't slide. Um, this one is a really nice yellow powder by Ben Nye. So I'm just gonna take a, a fluffy blending brush dip it in the product and tap off the excess and then press my concealer in. You don't want to wipe too much at this point because you'll just wipe off what you've, what you've put on. And just underneath here, like I will keep this little bit of sheen because it serves as sort of a natural highlighter. We're going to put product on there anyway so I might as well keep it. After I've powdered, I like to put on my contour and I'm using Laura Mercier's Baked Powder Pot today and a really small fluffy brush. So just going in underneath my cheekbones and sort of drawing some in. And if you can see, it sort of gives the illusion of uh, a much more high cheekbone. That should look all right. Okay, most of our base is done. I just feel like for nighttime, my eyebrows need to be much more strong than they are for the day. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a gel liner and an angle brush. Now don't go crazy at this point. You could probably get rid of most of it on your hand before you go in with the brush. It's just to define rather than paint a whole new eyebrow on. And I start underneath and fill in any bits that I've overplucked over the years. And then taking like the really, really last bit on the brush, you can brush little, in like hair-like strokes, just brush in the rest to fill in any sparse areas. So now we're done with our base, we're moving on to eyes. I'm going to use this palette today by Charlotte Tilbury. It's called Fallen Angel and it has four really nice metallic shades. First, I'm going to take this sort of silvery champagne colour and a small blending brush and just cover my eyelid with this. Next up I'm going in with the more brown shade and this will be my base colour really, this will be the, the most prominent colour on my eye. Don't worry if it doesn't look too neat at the moment, we're going to blend everything into each other so it should be quite seamless. And now you just want to pat the colour in place. Then taking a clean blending brush, blend this out until it's, again, like there's no harsh lines. I like to go in a kind of windshield wiper motion. Cool. Then taking a really small smudgy brush, I don't know what the real word is for that, but eye smudger. I'm going to go in with the darkest sort of bluey bluey black colour and I'm going to take this really close to my lash line then taking a really concentrated blending brush I'm going to just smudge that out again and the trick is for nothing to look too harsh we want it to all sort of blend into each other And then I'm going to, again, go back in with the blue and take it underneath. I 
I'm not going to take this all the way along the bottom lash, just kind of stopping in the middle. And then I'm going to take the brown shade again and blend it along and sort of help blend out that colour so it's not so harsh. Now to highlight, I like to take the lightest colour in the palette and I just put this lightly under my brow bone and blend down into the colour to make it even more subtle to help shape it. Now at this point, if you like to wear false eyelashes, you can fling yours on. I'm not gonna wear them because personally for me, they never stay on all night. So I'm gonna go in with some eyeliner and mascara instead. This is Rimmel's Exaggerate and it's a really nice fine pointed nib. Back to your palette and take a small brush and we can blend the two together so they look like they're joined up. So finally for eyes, I'm going in with my mascara and this is Ico's Lengthen and Strengthen. And I'm gonna wiggle it all the way at the base of my eyelashes. And then take that onto your bottom lashes. Finally for lips, I'm going in with like a brown color to sort of complement my top and the eye makeup. And I'm just going to take that over my lip line. Brown lipstick is so in at the moment. It's very 90s, supermodel-esque. And then using a sort of more, this is kind of like a mauve, just in the middle. And I'm going to mix that with a more neutral beige colour. So with my face done, I like to quickly do something with my hair and usually I'm rushing out for a night out after a long day at work. So I use this texture cream by Bumble and Bumble, tiniest amount, rub it in the palms. I like this kind of vintage vamp undone look. And then to keep it in place, I use this Moroccan oil hairspray. Just to give the curls a bit of oomph. And that is a lot bouncier than it was when we started. Nothing too prim and proper, just really nice bouncy curls will help you stay sexy the whole night.